Hello and welcome back to this Unity tutorial. Today I want to talk about different types of scripts. First, there is the manager. The manager controls a group of game objects, for example, enemies. The second one is the controller. The controller controls just one enemy or one game object. The third and last one is the helper class. Helper classes can make your job easier, just as a dog or a cat at your working space. So how can we bring these three types of scripts together? Well, the most easiest way is the manager talks to the controller and the manager talks to the helper. But in most projects you will find something like this. The manager talks to the controller, the controller talks to the manager and the controller also can talk to the helper. But in my opinion, you should avoid that the controller talks to the helper directly. Because with this setup, the manager always knows what's going on with the game objects. So now, let me show you an example in Unity. So as you can see, I already have a folder structure with constants, enemies, helper and manager. In this case, my controllers for the enemies are in the enemy folder. In the scene view, I have an empty game object called enemy manager. It's not really empty because the enemy manager script is attached to this empty game object. The enemy manager also have a variable called speed. The enemies themselves also have a script attached called enemy mover. This also has a variable speed. So in the enemy mover you see, I call the enemy manager instance twice. First, to get the speed at line 16, because I want the enemy manager to decide which actual speed the enemy has. And second, to check if the screen hits on line 17. Because maybe the enemy manager has something to do when the enemy hits the screen. So let's see what the enemy manager does. The enemy manager has a function that can tell the enemy what is fast and what is slow. The other method which is called from the enemy is check screen hit. But this method is not handled in the enemy manager, it is handled in the position helper. So the position helper is instantiated in the awake method of the enemy manager. With this architecture, we have only one position helper. But you can reuse this position helper in other managers. So you may notice that there is a fourth script, the enemy speed. Here I store an enum with my enemy speeds. I made it public so I can access it in every script. The big difference between the script types is that the enemy manager, for example, inherits from the mono behavior from Unity. And also the enemy mover and both have to be attached to a game object. Our position helper does not inherit from anything and it is not attached to a game object, so it has to be instantiated in the enemy manager. So this technique is might a bit over-engineered for this small example, but when you get used to it, it is quite easy to adapt it to other projects. Do you already use manager and controllers? And maybe you didn't know it? Tell us in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, show us. If you don't, tell somebody you don't like. You may subscribe for more.